it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome back to the Red, White, and Blue. I realized after I finished that video that there were a lot of items I missed that I have. So I alibied them in the remarks below, but I actually figured there was enough of them that I should come back on and share them. So I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July yesterday, and hopefully you're still enjoying a nice, peaceful, safe, and healthy weekend um, through today. And anyway, here goes. So right off the bat, I, I also need to alibi something else. Um, and that is the stars patterns. I don't know why I kept saying it and I didn't realize it until I watched it. But um, when I was holding the zip ID side by side, I was talking about the stars on the inside. So this year's stars is the star spangled and I kept calling it star power. So the star spangled looks like this. The star power is specifically that reactive formulation that has the star quilting like on the sports backpack and the sports ditty in the Sean Johnson collection. So just to clear that up, I hope that everybody wasn't frustrated by that. I, I watched that and it was just a face pounding moment. So sorry about that. Um, but two of the things I forgot, kind of uh, the scarves. So the soft fringe scarf, it's a lovely, it's very thin, it's light, it's very soft, and it does have just an unfinished end, if you will. It has the little fringe ends on it. And I really haven't had any experience of them like fraying any further or anything like that. They've, they've been fine. I have not washed them, but it does say it's 100% rayon and you should dry clean them. So there you go. But this is last year's, this is the Fireworks Paisley. And what they did is they took the pattern, but then they put these red, white, and blue stripe in it, which when it's just laying flat, I'm like, oh, that's kind of silly. But when you're, when you're putting it together, you can kind of highlight which color you want to show based on how you twist or lay, you know, the, the scarf. So, so that's kind of cool, actually, once you kind of look at the bigger picture. Kelly might start squeaking. She grabbed a toy. <laughs> She's so funny. Okay, and this is the red, white, and blossoms, which is pretty much a straight depiction of the pattern. There's no extra stripes or anything in there. There she goes. <laughs> uh, Lucy, come on. Yeah, silly dogs. All right, so anyways, sorry, I was trying to get a hold of it. Um, yeah, so just really nice, really soft. And so even though I, I if I, I was planning on working and going to school right now, and that, that's a longer story, but um, so I have all these scarves. I have a ton of them, but red, white, and blue is really any time of year. You can use them as a shawl or a sarong kind of thing. Well, it's kind of thin, but you can do a lot of different things with it. So, all right. Next thing is Star Spangled Patch Set. Just says USA. Um, let's see if it says anything else. Um, no. So I think they're iron-on. But I kind of didn't pay attention because it didn't matter because when I decide what I'm going to put them on, which is unknown at this time, um, I'll figure it out. So if it's an iron-on, I'll still sew it anyway. So there you go. But it's probably a combination of the sticky and whatnot. But it's a nice, it does have some depth to it. It's like a, like a terry cloth looking thing, you know, like a towel. But it's nice. So. No idea what I'm gonna put that on, but I'm sure I'll think of something. And then I have, uh, it's a new bag, and I've forgotten the name, but it's a convertible crossbody, this little thing. So it comes with two straps. It does come with a belt strap, and has plastic fittings for that, and it is adjustable. Um, and then it also has this little star spangled strap, so when you're pulling the strap around, it keeps them together. Um, and it is like a canvas type, nylon weave. It's not quite the seat belt, but not quite canvas. It's kind of in between the two, sort of like a hybrid. Um, the belt does fit me, but not a whole lot of extra space because I'm a big girl, but it does give you some flexibility. The other thing is your regular crossbody strap. You can wear shoulder, crossbody, whatever. It's adjustable just the same, and it's the same material. I do like that it's metal fittings, and it does have the quick release thing. Um, I'll say this when you when you have it hanging just hanging like it doesn't 
it kind of just can spin on its axis with those. And also, if you look at it, one of the loops is mounted higher than the other. So like this one is higher, this one's lower. I have no idea why. That's just bad workmanship. But it doesn't affect the function of the bag. It's just one of those things you can ignore. You can get through it and get past it. No matter how OCD, it's fine. It worked fine. Um, but the way that this strap works is there's this tunnel right here where the strap goes through. Now once it's on there, it slides around no problem, but putting these plastic fittings through here, not so cool. It is not a fast transition because it just doesn't go in very nicely. It's a tight fit. Um, just at the entry and exit, you know, but once it's in the tunnel, there's a little more room in there. But man, I don't like the way that works. I do kind of like that it's hidden so that when you're not using it as a belt bag that it's you know not got loops hanging out or something so you can put it either way that's fine um i said when i got this in the haul video i'd actually like a slip back here which i do stick to that especially if you have that hidden tunnel anyways just have that slip on top because that's where i'd like to put my phone um, but you can put the phone in the front pocket there's just a zipper there though so you, you run the risk of scratching things and because it doesn't go all the way up your phone sticks out, but it's securely in there. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, you can also put it inside, of course. So, the rest of the pockets on this thing, it's actually packs a punch for a little bag. You have that front pocket, which is just a pocket. Um, oh, here's the tags, I can tell you what it is. Yeah, convertible, RFID convertible, small crossbody. I had most of that in there, sorry. Yeah, so anyway, zipper pocket there, zipper closure on the top, when you open it up, on the front side, you have one, two, three card slots and, well, actually it's just four card slots. And it is RFID in there. And you can't see it too well, but the giveaway is, look at how this aligned, so you can actually just follow the stars. They're lined up so you can see the different layers. So four card slots right there. On the opposite side, you have a zipper pocket, privacy pocket, and it goes uh, not quite to the bottom of the bag, it's about an inch short, so still a good size pocket. Um, let's see, I don't think your zip ID fits in there though, because it's not deep enough, but it's not bad. I mean, you can use that, see? It sticks out, but you could put it in that pocket just to keep it out of your way, obviously. Let's look at the front. Take the tags back out. I forgot I left the tags on it. This does fit in the front pocket, but you're not really, let me see if I can zip this sucker. <laughs> it's a little work. Uh, you can zip it, you can, um, but that's a tight fit. That's a tight fit. Um, but yeah, it, laterally it fits fine, it's the, the depth that's fine. So anyways, that's the little small crossbody and all of its straps, which I just store inside of it. And I'll figure that out when I go to put it away. <laughs> All right, this isn't in today's view. The next thing that I forgot to show was placemats and napkins. And I've got last year's and this year's. So we'll talk about real quick the differences and the similarities. So when I showed the haul video, I did take them out of the plastic, which is how I store them up until I actually used them. I haven't used them because last year I was traveling and over the holidays and then this year we're in isolation so they just haven't haven't had a chance yet but um they're back in the plastic for storage until i use them and i need to wash these before i use them but anyway so um, i'll put the link right here for the haul video so you can see them without the plastic and get a better look but you get the idea because you've already seen the patterns so last year was fireworks paisley so the napkins came as singles so one napkin, and one napkin was $5, but you had to buy them individually. And the same with the placemats, they also came as singles, and they were $15. And so they are quilted, it's a micro diamond quilting. You can kind of see it, let me see around the reflection. So it is, it's just a pattern, but it's a nice snapshot of it. All the paisleys pop really nicely. And then on the back you have your star party. There you go, see your red, white, and blue stars. And then it has this nice multi-line quilting around the outer edge. 
So it comes together very nicely and they are totally reversible, of course. This year, the napkins came as a set of four and so you have two red, white, and blossoms and two star spangles. So they're a little bit different, but the pricing is basically the same because a set of four costs $20. So same price. Uh, the difference, of course, in the stars, which you're not going to see very well in that comparison, but if you look at the placemats, you can see that the Fireworks Paisley Star Party on this side, this is a little bit more like random. And this one, the Star Spangled, is a very geometric placement of the stars. So you can see there are little lines, you know, and they kind of, they're very symmetric. And you got more of the red and blue in there. Yeah. And then you've got your red, white, and blossoms on the front. And they came in sets of two. And these ones, you actually get a slightly better deal because two for 20 versus one for 15. But they are matchy matchy enough that you could, you know, alternate. You could use both of those at the same time. You can use your fireworks paisley with your star spangled and vice versa. You can also use these two together, but I just don't think that these two really match so well. Theoretically they do, but not so much. So you do it, you do you and enjoy them all. But that wraps it up for the rest of the Star Spangled stuff. I apologize for neglecting to show it in with the main group, but there you go. Take care and don't forget to washi washi. Bye for now.